Close your eyes and watch your breath. Be with it all the way in, all the way out. Try to be very sensitive to what the breath is doing and what you're doing as you watch the breath. Make sure you stay with it. Any little tentacles of the mind that are stretching out to go someplace else, you've got to cut them off as soon as you see them. Because little things like that can turn into big issues. This is why we practice mindfulness and alertness all through the day. Because little things can happen at any time of the day. So try to be with what you're doing and not wandering around, thinking about other things. There's that Calvin and Hobbes cartoon where Calvin comes to his mother and explains a little bit of theory of relativity. And then mentions, oh, by the way, I was roller skating through the kitchen carrying a pitcher of lemonade and I tripped. And as she's cleaning up the lemonade on the fl kitchen floor, she says, why are today's kids so smart but so dumb? And that's the problem with a lot of us. We know a lot about the drama. We can explain all kinds of things. But little tiny things about what you're doing, you're, you're not paying attention. At the doors to the kitchen, you have to keep them closed all the way. If there's the slightest bit of opening there, rats will come in. We don't have to deal with that kind of problem here. Or the little spoons for the, the salt and pepper. One by one by one, they've disappeared. It's not that difficult to keep track of things like this. But just pay attention to what you're doing. And it's a good part of Dharma practice. As I said, the defilements, when they come into the mind, they come as little tiny things. They're your friends. That's what they want you to believe. And so you let them in. And then they take over. So look for the little things, and particularly look for the little things that you're responsible for. Make sure they don't turn into big issues. And that way you're with the Dharma all the time, with the Dharma of mindfulness, with the Dharma of alertness and ardency, really trying to do this well. It may seem like fixing food, running the kitchen, doing errands in the monastery, doing chores. It doesn't require that much intelligence. Well, it requires a lot of alertness. Because little things can go wrong, and it's good practice. This is what a lot of the practice in the forest tradition is all about, learning the right way to clean a place, learning the right way to look after things. Because as you develop these habits in your, out, in your external activities, they become the habits you have in your mind. And if you're sloppy in one area, it tends to get sloppy in others. So try to be on top of things, right here, right now with every right here, every right now. That's where the Dharma is going to be found.